Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play. And we are back with Baird Beam. And today we're going to continue on our main story quest. Let's turn this one off. Um, and you guys pointed something out <laughs> that completely went over my head uh, the last two episodes that we were here. And you're like, well, welcome home, Baird Beam. Welcome home. <laughs> and you're absolutely right. He is from Gondor. Um, I thought that he was from Minas Tirith, but, uh, this is his home. Gondor's his home, so, um, yeah, you guys are right. He's happy to be home. Uh, what are we doing? Talk to Pethabir in the library of Dol Amroth. Let's go find Pethabir. So yeah, Baradrian's probably ecstatic to be on the on ho on his way home um, in Gondor. Is this it? This it? Library. This is the library. There he is. Well, the scholars here are at your disposal, of course. Lothiriel seeks information. What a wonder. She has never sought our knowledge before this. Perhaps she's begun to take seriously the duty with, with which she has been charged. At last. When I was her tutor, she was very... She was the very picture of inattentive boredom. It is one of my greatest regrets that I was unable to impress upon her the importance of study. That is ancient history. What matters now is the present need. The scholars here are at your disposal, of course. Allow me to guide the course of your study. Naramil and Noseth have traveled extensively throughout the Kingdom of Gondor and can tell you a great deal about the land and our rich history. Noseth has a particularly keen insight for the lineages of the kings and of the stewards, and the political intentions of various lords and ladies. Kirahil can tell you of a great deal about the Corsairs and the port from which they hail, Umbar, to the south across the bay. Okay. Where are these folk? Oh, this is where all the... There's new guild... guildy people in here. Um... Are the people that I seek in here? Yes. See one right there. How does one get up there? Baby! My cat. My cat's meowing. We're this way. This is Kira Sirahel. Sirahel. Across the Bay of Belfalas, the harbor of Umba provides the mooring for many ships. South of Dol Amroth, across the Bay of Belfalas, the city of Umbar stands. Its large harbor provides the mooring for many great ships, and a mighty fortress was built there. It was, in, it was an important port for the Numenorians, but when the strife split the loyalties of that people, Umbar became a contested land. It remains so throughout history, at times taken by Gondor and at others occupied by black Numenorians and the Heradrim allies. One of the most devastating losses of Umbar occurred following the kin strife, one of Gondor's darkest periods. The sons of Castamir the Usurper, chief architect of the king strife, escaped from Gondor and named themselves Corsairs of Umbar. Castamir's sons were all slain, but their legacy remains. The Corsairs have caused much hardship along the coastline over the years. Okay. Is there another person in here to talk to somewhere? What about up here? One up here? Hello. Man, this is a big library. It's like the Library of Alexandria <laughs> going on right here. Let's go to the other side. See anybody to talk to? Any 
me one over here. Aha! Gnosis. Imrahil is well loved by the people, but his daughter Lothiriel is untested and unproven. Lord Imrahil is the prince of Dol Amroth, and he is the wise ruler of the city and its surrounding lands. He's gone to Minas Tirith with many soldiers, but he has left some of his swan knights to serve his daughter Lothiriel, who now rules the city during his absence. Imrahil is well loved by the people of Belfalas, but his daughter is untested and unproven. Numenorean tradition allows women to rule, but not all folk in Gondor remember such things. I've heard some dissatisfaction that she was chosen to rule the city while her father is away. But Lothiriel is loyal and complies with her father's wishes, despite her young age and a tendency toward recklessness. She recently disagreed with an arrangement of marriage, but it is my understanding she will go through with the proposed match, despite her feelings, or the feelings of a great many of her people. Some things are not meant to be, and I fear there will be a reckoning for it. Okay. Interesting. Can I go downstairs now? It's probably an ah! Oh, my stomach lurched. There's someone to talk to around here. Oh, I don't want to go up here. There's got to be another person to talk to somewhere. Do, do, do. I probably shouldn't be singing Final Fantasy music while- Here we go. <laughs> while we're playing Lord of the Rings. <laughs> right? I will tell you what I can about our kingdom. There is much of which I might speak. I will tell you what time allows about our kingdom, but that is a rich history and there is much of which I might speak. The kingdom has first established in the wake of disaster. The land of Numenor fell beneath the waves. Only fast ships could save the household of Elendil and bring them to these shores. High King Elendil's sons ruled the kingdom together, and when the Dark Power returned to Middle-earth, Elendil and his sons Isildur and Anarion were slain. The line continued by way of Anarion's son through many years, until Erenor, the last king of Gondor, disappeared into Minas Morgul and was never seen again. For more than 900 years, rule of the kingdom has passed down through the hereditary line of the ruling stewards, charged with maintaining the peace and welfare of Gondor until the line of kings is restored. Do you believe that can ever happen? Any claimant would need to prove an unbroken bloodline, a task that seems insurmountable to this poor scholar. Well, the good news is we know of Aragorn, son of Arathorn. How does one get out of here? I think this way. And heir of Isildur. Alright, Pethabir. I see that Nozeth spoke to you of Lothiriel's betrothal. I should have counseled restraint. Ah, did my scholars hope you learn anything of use, Spared Beam? It seems to me that the Corsairs are a dangerous threat, and Lothiriel would be wise to recall the Swan Knights she sent from the city. I hope the information of my scholars proves helpful to you and to Lothiriel, and awakens her to the uncertain future that awaits. Pethabir notices your expression and sighs. I see that Gnosis spoke to you of Lothiriel's betrothal to Boromir. Oh, to Boromir? Really? I should have counseled her to exercise restraint. None are happy about this match save Denethor, as, and as he is the ruling steward, there are none willing to speak against his wishes. All I know of it is that he had a dream of some sort that convinced him of the rightness of this match, but I do not know what it could have been. Decide not to tell the earnest archivist that you know Boromir will never wed Lothiriel, but the young ruler of the city should be told the fate of her intended. Oh, dang. We have to go break the news. <laughs> Excuse me. That sucks. I don't want to be the one to tell her that Boromir's no more. Bum bum. Going here. Find her again. 
fun nights. This is so cool because I used to play on an RP server, uh, Land Roval. And there was a character that played a Swan Knight, and I never knew what he was talking about. <laughs> so now I know, now I know what he's talking about, and uh, it you seems really cool. Why do you appear so sorrowful? What is wrong? You have returned from the library archives, Bearbeam. Have you learned anything that will help us defend against the attacks of Umbar? Why do you appear so sorrowful? What is wrong? There is no easy way to give such tidings as you have to Bor of Boromir. But you do your best you can, and tell Ethereal that he fell in battle protecting those he could, who could not protect themselves. Her face betrays a confused mixture of emotion. I do not know what to say, Beardbeam. Boromir was a good man. He always had my love and my respect, and I would have married him for Gondor. His father, the steward, dreamed of the triumph of the kingdom, and in the dream I was a gar garlanded queen in Minas Tirith, beneath a fair and golden sun. My father, too, had a similar dream. He dreamt that I was in a high place wearing a golden crown. The ethereal wipes at the dampness of her eyes with the back of her sleeve. I mourn for my cousin, Beardbeam, and for Gondor. What? <laughs> I was unhappy with the marriage match, but now that he is gone, I am sad for his passing. Glad that he attained glory and angry for my relief. I do not know how I feel. Was that her cousin? I will grieve at another time. For now, I must be strong. While my father is away, I must rule in Dol Amroth. I do not have the time to come to terms with this lost Baird Beam. I will grieve at another time and reconcile my feelings then. For now, I must be strong. By the set of her jaw, you see that Lothiriel is resolved, and the strength of her father is in her. I sent forth the Swan Knights for two purposes. One was the purpose of a ruler, to ensure the safety of her people. The other purpose was that of a rebellious child, acting out against the wishes of her father in the only way she could. That purpose I regret. Now is the time for the Swan Knights to return to Dol Amroth, for I will have need of them if we are to survive the menace of Umbar and these heirs of Castamir. Travel first to the beacon of Amon Lontir, east of the city, and tell Nedros to return. He is the nearest Swan Knight and is advanced in age, but it does not decrease his skill one measure. Travel then to the beacon of Magund in Lamadin. Heladir is the knight I sent to Lamadin, and he is also brave of heart. The last of the knights I sent forth is named Rovalang, and he will be somewhere in the Blackroot Vale. I know not where. All right, we've got to c collect these knights. These swan knights. I'm gonna go to a beacon, huh? Alright, let's get out of the city so we can see the expanded map. Talk to Nedros on Amon Lontir in Belfast. So sh it's pointing me in this direction. Can I see? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So let me help. Let me out of the city. Somehow. Maybe I can go this way. Fair beam wouldn't get, be getting lost like this in the city, but I am. Maybe he's just exploring the uh, city that he loves. Mason's Court. Ooh, um, love child. Okay. I think we have to go up to go down. Scholar's Quarters. Man, that's where Beardbeam would be. I, you know, this library? If Beardbeam's from here, um, I, I, you know, I think he's from Minas Tirith, but he probably knows of this library. And absolutely adores that library. I would. It's huge. Can someone help me get out of here? <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know where to go here. Isabel's walk. Here we go. Put a guardrail or something there, man. The wharf. The lower city. And we're out. Okay. Gotta go find the first of these swan knights. Say why Baird Beam was in Bree. He's from here. Hmm. Breelan. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right, my bio uh, explains everything. Okay. Where are we headed? Straight forward. Yeah, this would be a cool place to have Baird Beam be from. But I have in his bio... I have his bio here? No. I have in his bio that he's from Minas Tirith. Gondor. And he's probably only traveled to that library if he has his nose in a book all the time. We gotta go up here, right? Yeah. Beacon. her cousin <laughs> so, I mean I I guess so all right hello good sir Nedros I will return but there is something I must tell you first we you are that... under attack oh we're under attack you say that Lothiriel has commanded my return to the city I will return of course but there's something I must say to you first young one Nedros laughed sharply. You've interrupted me during a brief lull in the battle, my timely new friend. I routed a group of Corsair raiders, but they are certain to return. Indeed, I hear them approach once more. Before I hit continue, we get out. Schmegly. They return! Hit him, Megly! Really hell. We have victory. Now I will return to Dol Amroth as Lothiriel commands. Okay. Talk to Heladir by the beacon of Magond in Lamadon. That's even further. Schmegly. Let's get going. What is this place? Can I ride through here?
Discovered Ocelon tier. This is a cool little place. Is that the beacon I have to go to right over there? I think it might be. Um, did I lose the road? There's no road. Help. What the heck kind of... Falling off cliffs now? Must have taken a sharp turn that road did. This is not it. Is it that one? Oh dear gosh. <laughs> dear lord. Ouch. Can I get back to a beaten path at some point? Let's go this way. Ooh. Cruel Warhound. No, listen all you dogs. They almost got me dismounted here. Okay, we are back on the road. Or is it? No, it's gotta be that one. I feel like this is the way up over here. Ooh. Warband. Who am I in combat with? Another dog. Can't tell. Alright. I want to do a warband. I want to go up this way. Stalker. Okay. This the guy down here. What are you doing down here and not on top? I will return, but know this. I think a foe hides atop the hill of the beacon. Ethereal wishes for me to return to the city. I will do so at once. If you have a taste for adventure, friend, you might travel up the hill to scout the beacon. I was just atop the hill but saw no one, though I felt a watching presence. I think someone might be up there now, hiding from me. If you climb up the hill, but quietly, you might surprise a hidden villain. I think you should do so, my friend. A hidden villain. Oh. Now I go around. You stay right where you are. You're gonna hear my horse coming. Corsair raiders have scaled the hill in secret. Find and defeat this Corsair leader. 
the raider. There's the leader. 99. This. Well done. You defeated the Corsair leader in your Magond. Demoralized the enemy. Find and talk to Rovalang somewhere in the Black Root Vale. Up here? So far. <laughs> oh, dang. Alright, well, we'll go up there. Get down the safe way. Well, well, well. Oh, we're gonna be in this graveyard. Oh, bleh. Not to Lamadon. I wanna go up this way. Go here. stay on the road or we could go off the beaten path stay on the road <laughs> there's dangers sure we don't pass the road that I gotta turn. We're not close. Okay, I see it. Turn up this way. Corsairs! this way. And this should take us to Blackroot Vale. Burling Brown. What is this? The 
Corsair thing. Really? Oh, they had me go through Lamadon, didn't they? The wrong way. <laughs> Our Lang's crown. These are all elites. Please let me go up this way. Uh oh. An elite dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be here. snap. No! Don't! No! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> uh, can I revive for free? And run? No! Thanks for pushing me. Jeez, Louise. Let me get on my horse. Hopefully we can avoid further. I'm definitely not supposed to be here. I don't think I'm getting around this one. All right. Don't. <laughs> Where'd it put me? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that was like insta gibbed. <laughs> Now we're here. He's up here. Hill of Eric. Be on top of this hill or what? Oh, we've talked to him before, haven't we? He's coming at me. Will you leave me alone? Get out of here! Stop it!
Now I rolled another one. All right, all right, all right. Megs. There. I don't have enough room. I will return to the city, but I cannot abandon the Blackroot Vale just yet. You have returned, my friend, with a message. Well, do not tarry in its delivery, for I have an urgent matter of my own to resolve. Rovalang listens to your message. I will return to the city as Lothariel commands, but I cannot abandon the Blackroot Vale just yet. A great evil has come south, and I cannot leave the people of the Vale at its mercy. In form, it took the shape of a great winged beast, and it flew out of the north, passing over the mountains. It circled over Eric for a time, and then passed low over Morlad. I saw it only moments before you arrived, passing low in the direction of the mountains. Roverlang seems unaware of the nature of this evil, but you know it by the winged beast it rides, and have seen it its kind before, Nazgul. If this creature learns of Aragorn's passage and the army of the dead that follows him, so too will the great enemy learn of it. Nazgul must be defeated. We're gonna defeat a Nazgul? All right, we need to get rid of something here. You have heard of this winged creature. I can see it in your eye. At level 100. You've heard of this winged creature, Baird Beam. I can see it in your eye. Will you help me find it and keep it from harming the people of the Vale? You nod in agreement. If the Nazgul learns that Aragorn commands an army of the dead, much harm might be done to the desperate hope that drives him and to the people that depend on him. Well, let us go at once. If you have a fellowship at your call, bring them along as well. There will be danger enough for all, but now let us chase this foe. I saw it fly in the direction of the haunted cave to the northwest. Perhaps we can bring it down if we hurry. Really? You want to do it now? Let me get something sorted here. Get rid of that. Open these things. Um... I don't want to do it now. <laughs> I want to end the episode and do it when we come back. Um, so guys, that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait to kill the uh, the Nazgul with Rovaling here uh, to next episode. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.